crazy. Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the Golf, my favorite car in the fleet and a car which, well, you've seen plenty of uh, in the time that I have owned it. Do you know, I was watching back all the videos that I've done of this car the other night because to be honest, as fun as it is, obviously sharing all of these wild things with you online, I actually really enjoy going back and watching some of my older videos of some of my previous cars or previous modifications that I've done on current cars. And it made me realize that I've had this car, this Golf R, nearly three years now, which is crazy. And actually, as you probably guessed by the title and thumbnail, we are very close ditting a pretty cool milestone. I bought this car, as I said, about three years ago on about 80,000 miles. I've done about 20,000 miles in it, and as you can guess, I am very close to hitting 100,000 miles. Now, 100,000 miles um, in a 2014 car isn't really something which is super unique, but as this is a car which, you know, I bought 20,000 miles ago as a completely stock car, it has changed quite a lot, and as I've said, obviously, in my previous videos, it's a car I never, ever sell. It has so much sentimental value to me. Of course, I've shared every single thing that I've done to the car with you in the form of a load of videos uh, on this channel. And so I thought that it would be criminal not to have the moment that this car hits its first real milestone in the form of 100,000 miles on camera. This car I bought completely stock, 2014 Mark 7 Golf R, and I'm sure you're all very familiar with the modifications that have been done to it, of course, turning it into a proper track car. It's always been my dream to kind of build my own race car, really, and this car is by no means done at all. <laughs> that is for sure. And actually that's part of the reason why we're filming in today's video, because I want to let you know what is to come with this thing. Because um, whilst we have done so much, of course, all the power modifications, all the interior modifications, suspension, exhaust work, interior work, cosmetic work, whilst all of that has been done, there's still a hell of a lot more that is to come. And that is what is gonna be happening this year. I wanna give you a few insights on what is to come, what you can expect in the form of videos this year with this thing, because it's going to be a busy year for this car. It really is. The current mileage reading is 99,984. So 16 miles that I need to do until we hit the 100,000. Very cool, and I'm actually really excited because I never plan on letting this car go, and I, and I do look forward to little milestones like this, even though 100,000, as I said, is not that crazy for a car which is now 10 years old, which is pretty crazy. So I do have a little deadline, really, that I'm setting myself to get really a lot of things done on this car, and that is the first real road trip of the year in this thing. Uh, myself and actually 14 other friends are making a bit of a voyage over to, of course, the Nürburgring. We're doing that late April, um, and it will be the first proper outing, I think, for this car this year. Um, there's a lot of things which um, need to be done before then in terms of um, upgrades from the last time that it was at the ring. There was a few things which I need to obviously iron out and improve on, and there's also some other things which I've just wanted to do to this car for a while. So you can expect, to be honest, a lot of videos uh, on this car between now and then. I am actually planning to do a fair bit of it myself, which I know hasn't really happened too much with this car uh, in the past because of uh, well, I don't really have any sort of skills, but now that I've got the S1 and I'm kind of halfway through building that, more content on that soon, um, I thought, let me dive in at the deep end and really, well, see if I can do some of these things myself, um, because it is clearly doable. 
Now, whilst I am on my normal filming route, I mean, I'm sure if you guys are avid watchers of the channel, you'll recognize all these roads that I'm driving on now from either videos of my own cars or uh, more commonly, the car features. Now, when I was watching the reveal video of this car, which went up, I think, on the 10th of April, 2021, and from when I watched the video the other night, it made me really realize how much different this car is. I mean, even from the interior, of course, we've got the full T45 welded cage by Pinnacle. We've got, um, you know, things like the short shifter, 500 horsepower now, um, and just a whole load of other stuff. Of course, the Tillet racing seats as well, Alcantara steering wheel, and that's just on the interior. I mean, this car has genuinely changed so much. It does make me quite proud in a way because this, whilst I have mentioned it, I think even earlier on and in previous videos, that building something like this has always been a dream of mine and it had to be a Golf far purely because my original car, my first performance car, was a Golf far. That's why I decided to hop back in one and do this dream build, I suppose you could say. And as the road opens up, even on a wet day, this thing is just incredible. It's just the best. It really is. Like I said, I'm setting myself a deadline of the end of April when this car will be going to the Nürburgring once again. Uh, I plan on doing a few trips this year over to the ring. When I took the car there for the first time in June last year, it got very hot. So cooling modifications are gonna be paramount. I think that is the plan. So there's a whole host of cooling modifications that I wanna to do to the car. I mean, the car already has an intercooler, an oil cooler, and some other things. But I mean, with the MQB cars, there is a lot of cooling mods that you can do. And I basically plan on just throwing the catalog at it and getting all of that all done. Um, so that is something you can expect. In terms of cosmetics, the car is actually going to be changing visually quite a lot. Now, I don't want to say too much about that right now, um, but yeah, watch this space. In the next month or so, this car is going to look completely different, <laughs> which I'm very excited for. Again, something which I've wanted to do for an awfully long time. Um, I mean, obviously, all the normal maintenance bits and bobs will be done to the car, but generally just improving the car off of that last trip, finding the things which it was a little bit weaker on and just improving on that, making sure that those uh, overheating problems or whatever problems don't happen again for this trip. A few other odd jobs that I've done recently, I've had a new windscreen put in the car because that had a nice big crack in it, fresh MOT, you know, the normal stuff. Um, and I also need to get a new um, windscreen banner because it actually feels like I'm in one of those, uh, what, what cars are they? Are they, is it the new Teslas that have this massive windscreen that kind of merges into almost a panoramic sunroof? It feels like that because before I'm used to having a windscreen which stops about here <laughs> because of the sun strip. I need to get that done because I have no sun visors. So if it was a sunny day, I wouldn't have been able to see a thing. I haven't driven this car in a little while, being winter. I've got a fresh set of AO52s on the car as well, um, semi-slicks, which is obviously not ideal for this weather. But you can tell that they're kind of new because it's just kicking up all of the stones on the road. <laughs> 10 miles, 10 miles to go. up surprisingly well.
really savage, this thing. <laughs> Whilst I know it so well, naturally, from, uh, from building it and driving it since it was stock. You know, after not driving it for a while, it still does surprise you with how fast it is. And I'm just so excited to get it back, you know, in its natural habitat, on track flat out because well these winter months even though i'm not scared of driving cars in the winter it just drags on so much when there's no track days or nurburgring trips or anything planned <laughs> it really does place let's play a little game let's turn traction right off and see if we can put any power down at all from a standing start to hit 100,000 miles. It's a shame that I'm not on the Nürburgring. I think that would be slightly better than some wet country roads. 99,998 miles. <laughs> We're nearly there. Please don't blow up in two miles. <laughs> that would also be pretty bad. Oh, 99999, one more mile to go. <laughs> come on, come on. There it is. 100,000! <laughs> that is crazy. Seeing as it's safe, we're on a dead straight road. Let's pull over. Look at that. 100,000 miles. Get a nice little photo. Here's to 100,000 more. <laughs> Look at that, 100,000 on the dot. How satisfying is that? Oh. <laughs> that is so satisfying that we managed to pull over dead on 100,000 miles. I don't know why I'm so, I don't know, happy about it. Yeah, properly cool, properly cool. Absolutely love it. So there we are, first little proper big milestone for this car. I'm well up for getting this thing over 200,000 miles. One day, one day, that will happen. Um, but yeah, I mean, a bit of an update really, because uh, the car hasn't been on the channel for a little while. There'll be a lot coming um, in terms of well, what we spoke about uh, before this car goes to the Nürburgring in a few months. So I'm very excited about that. Let me know uh, if you want to see you know, every single stage of it. I'm planning on doing a lot of it myself. So if you want to see that, then I could do like a little mini series if you wanted. Um, but yeah, goal far, 100,000 miles. It's currently literally on exactly 100,000 miles, as we've seen, which is super satisfying. Almost want to kind of leave it here. Um, so it can stay exactly on that. But yeah, lots planned for this car very soon, so keep your eyes peeled. Uh, but yeah, that is it for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures still to come. Oh,